Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. Let's talk about where we want the club head to travel if you're someone who struggles with shallowing the ball, if shallowing the club, if you're someone who struggles with being over the top, if you're someone who struggles with swinging, hitting driver because you're slicing it all over the place, okay? So the, the more common amateur miss I see is when, when players get the downswing working this way, okay? Your arms and hands go first, it throws the club outwards. Outwards, early in the downswing means it comes inwards in the follow through. We don't want that very outside in. You're not gonna be very functional, you're gonna have very spinny drives, uh, not very fun. So if you're someone who doesn't have any time to work on your golf swing, you're not gonna be able to time to fix your backswing because more often than not, your downswing is a reaction to how you're making your backswing. If you just want a simple tip to, to try to get the ball more uh, functional, more playable, I suggest you just try to move this club head way behind you in the downswing, okay? We know club head, this is club head outside or in front of the body. This is club head behind the body, okay? If you're getting the club head outside the body, outside or in front of the hands early in the downswing, it's gonna cut across and come this way, which we just showed. So we wanna make sure we can do the opposite. You wanna do whatever it takes, regardless of how you make your backswing. So I'm gonna make a very common lifty backswing where I'm not turning much, okay? If all I do is try to get this club going behind me, feeling like this club head comes from behind my leg, kind of coming from this direction into the ball, at the very least, it's gonna negate some of this. It's not gonna be perfect. You're most likely not gonna actually come from here. You may feel like, oh, how am I gonna hit a ball? Well, from, from here, chances are, you're probably not hitting the ball very good anyways coming this way, so you got nothing to lose. And you feeling you coming from here will, will most likely be more normal, more neutral, okay? So if you're someone who does this in the, in your, during your golf swing, armsy, and then cut across it, you're probably gonna wanna, whatever it takes, regardless of how you make your backswing, just get this club at traveling way behind, okay? So I'm gonna make that same armsy backswing. And all I did is just try to move this club way back, okay? My quad ran out of the battery, but you guys can see that the club starts more right, the ball's hitting more rightwards on the screen. You can also see the club that's coming from more behind the body. More behind the body means more inside out. More in front of the body, in front of the hands means more in, outside in. If you're slicing drivers, you wanna be way more inside out just so you're not so steep on the ball, just so you're not so slicing across the ball, okay? So again, you're prob if you're someone who's probably very armsy, in the backswing, and you don't wanna fix that, you don't have time to fix it, you just can only think about one band-aid, do whatever it takes to move this club behind you, okay? So one more time, very armsy backswing, and I'm just gonna move the club way behind. I chunked that one, and again, I'm not saying it's 100% accurate, you're not gonna suddenly start peering every shot, but at the very least, you're gonna give yourself a better chance of hitting better golf shots a better chance of hitting less bad ones, okay? So one more time, assuming you guys have a, have a whatever am, uh, average amateur golf swing, very armsy, not much turn to it, not much width to it, we're not gonna fix that in this video. All we wanna do is give you a band-aid, is to just get this club moving as far back as you can in the downswing to give yourself a chance of being less outside in. Maybe even a little, little bit inside out, um, help you guys be more functional across the bag from driver to wedges. So hope that helps. Any questions, leave it in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks guys.